Cole, thanks very much for joining us at OGV Energy TV. We're here this morning to discuss IR35 and an update on it at the seminar this morning. Um, we've heard quite a lot about the, the strategies that the companies are going to be employing um, in the energy sector at the moment. You've been involved in this for over two years now within the, within the sector. What kind of patterns are emerging and are you seeing that uh, the companies are adopting? So I think the positive news is that we are seeing in the majority of cases organisations going down the route of fair and individual compliant assessment processes. So whilst we have had a couple of organisations doing a blanket ban of PSCs, that seems to be more in the minority with the majority adopting for a, a good compliance process and looking for ways in which they can compliantly continue to engage limited company contractors. So that's great news for the contractor community um, and that's happening right the way throughout the supply chain as I understand it. Um, and what, what would be the screening process that these companies are, there, are then adopting um, from a, a process perspective? Yeah, so there are lots of different options out there that organisations can utilise. So you have HMRC's tool, tools from tax specialists in the market. But fundamentally, what businesses should be doing is inputting an assessment exercise, which involves gathering information from your contractor population, an element of validation from the business to ensure that business policies and standards are being upheld and that a determination has been made on the facts in the round and having a kind of level of transparency through the supply chain on the basis of what the determinations have actually been put on. And what advice would you have for um, for a company within the energy supply chain um, that maybe hasn't started um, the, the processes yet? Because we're, we're here this morning, I think a lot of them are fairly well down the road with them, but some of them are in that situation that they, they haven't done much with it as yet. But do they still have time? They do still have time. And I think that what organisations need to do is not panic under the time pressure. We've worked with lots of organisations through private sector reform, get some really good examples of public sector reform where we had to turn around quick exercises so you have time but you need to start now and it's about making sure that you put proper compliance processes in place and don't allow the time frames to influence the decisions that you actually make. Perfect well I know you've got to rush off because you've got another <laughs> meeting so thanks very much for joining us and uh, yeah good luck with your day. Thank you.